guilt and obligation. How a mid-range narcissist manipulates. All narcissists have a sense of entitlement. The mid-range narcissist, and that includes lower mid-range, middle mid-range type A, middle middle-range type B, and upper mid-range, manifests this sense of entitlement, particularly using obligation and guilt. Their mindset is that they are good people, that they do a lot for you, that they're helpful and decent, and that therefore, as part of the quid pro quo of whatever relationship it is that you have with the narcissist, then you should reciprocate. They've been good to you, therefore you ought to be good to them in return. That you have certain obligations towards them as wife, friend, parent, and therefore if you fail to discharge those obligations, then you are inherently a bad person. Such accusations, of course, offend your empathic traits, and the effect of emotional thinking causes you to act on that corruption of your empathic traits to do something about it, namely, to continue to interact with the narcissist in some way. Rather than realise you haven't done anything wrong and walk away, realise that you are not obligated and therefore there is no compulsion on you to act, instead, your empathic traits of love, devotee, honesty, decency, being an excellent listener, are corrupted. So the narcissist will accuse you, you never listen to me, you ought to listen to what I have to say. And your emotional thinking corrupts that empathic trait of being an excellent listener to make you feel guilty for not listening or believing that you weren't listening. And so therefore, you stop and allow the narcissist to berate you, belittle you, denigrate you, or to embark upon some boring mid-range monologue. The narcissist will accuse you of not doing things. And therefore, out of a sense of obligation, driven by the empathic trait of decency, you feel bad, even at the merest suggestion of not having done those things, which then causes you to act upon it. The mid-range narcissists, of course, being unaware, do not realise that they are seeking to control you by making such comments which capitalise upon your empathic traits. These are instinctive and invariably passive-aggressive obligations that are foisted upon you by the behaviour of the narcissist. It's done in a passive-aggressive way. It's often done ensconced in a pity play, or, with a lot of them, put together a sympathy symphony. The mid-range narcissist, when control is threatened, will utilise the manipulations that I'm going to describe to engender in you senses of obligation and guilt. Remember, the mid-range narcissist does not know that he or she is actively doing this. They believe, and genuinely believe, that you have done something wrong because their narcissism makes them believe that. Through the distortion field that is their narcissism, they either rewrite history, so they bring up all of these imagined transgressions. You never listen to me. You always forget to make something for me when I come in from football on a Saturday. Note the black and white thinking and the use of always and never. There will be evidence to the contrary, but the narcissism has wiped that from the record as part of the revision of history and the subsequent manipulative behaviour towards you to impose guilt and obligation upon you. This demonstrates a series of phrases that the mid-range narcissist will use in a variety of different scenarios. And afterwards, I will go back through them to help you understand the nature of the further manifestation of guilt and obligation so that it aids your understanding. You should not have done that to me. You should be thankful for who I am. You should be giving thanks to whichever God you follow that you have someone like me in your life, someone who cares, someone who is considerate, someone who only wants the best for you. You should be ashamed of the way that you have treated me. You should apologise this instant. 
You should say sorry to me for the way that you have behaved. You should treat others the way that you want to be treated, and not going around behaving like you are something special. You should realize I am something special, and you keep treating me terribly. You should understand that I am a good, honest, and decent person, and not everyone would put up with your hysterical outbursts. You should know how hard it is to love somebody like you, but I do. You should be grateful for that. You should know who you are messing with. You should be wary of getting on the wrong side of me, you know. You should make sure you keep me happy, because you will not like me when I am not happy. You should be looking out for me, and not getting around after other people. You should learn what your priorities are. You should spend more time with me. You should know when to leave me alone. You should be here and doing what I want. You should try giving for once, rather than doing all of this taking. You should be more aware of the way that you hurt people, and especially me. You should think more about how your actions impact upon me. You should take my feelings into account and stop being so selfish. You should realise just what you do hurts me. You should understand that the things you say and do to me have consequences. You should stop making it all about you, and let me have a say from time to time. You should stop being so obsessed with your friends' lives, and think about our lives together. You should spend less time with your family. They do not appreciate you in the way that I do. You should stop telling lies about me. You should get your own house in order before you start telling me how I should lead my life. You shouldn't live in a glass house, you know, and throw stones. You should stop being such a nasty person to someone who's only ever been good to you. You should stop spearing my name to other people. You should take a look in the mirror. You should take a good look in the mirror, actually. You should stop putting me down. You should do what I want for a change. You should come back and apologise. I'm a reasonable person and you should recognise that. You should make things right because, after all, this is your fault. You should stop fighting with me. I do not know why you have to do this. You should stop trying to tie me in knots. You should be more considerate. You should think about me more. You should sort this mess out, because you are the only one that has caused it. You should see how hard I have been trying for us. You should recognise a good person when you see one. You should know I have made the changes that you demanded, but you should be making some of your own as well. You should realise just how much I have tried for you and me. You should know what other people say about you. You should realise that I put up with people saying bad things about you, and you should be grateful I defend you to them, but I won't keep doing it forever. You should realise you're not as popular as you think you are. You should be aware that I am a popular person, and you won't come out of this looking good at all. You shouldn't treat me like this. You shouldn't destroy what I have built. You should recognise a good person, an honest person, a truthful person like me. You should learn just what you have lost by behaving like this. You should see just how many people hold me in high regard. You should be so happy to have someone like me, someone who people think well of, and they do. Just ask anybody, and they will tell you. You should take the time to realise that I am a good person, and consider what you are doing to me, to us, to what we have. You should stop hurting me. You should stop getting a kick out of this horrible treatment of me. You should stop being mean to someone who loves you. You should help me. You should love me more. You should show me that you mean it. You should stop with the pretense. You should be genuine like me. You should stop playing the games. You should be the person that make your grandmother proud. You should be the best person that you can be for me. You should get some help. You should see someone. You should go to therapy. You should sort these problems out. You should stop blaming me. You should stop projecting your problems and insecurities onto me. You should stop the game playing. I am cleverer than you, so I see straight through it. You should tell the truth for once. You should stop making up stories about me. You should reflect on what you do. You should get some insight into what you are actually doing. You should shut up and listen to me for once. You should go and see the doctor. You should take your medication. You should stop being such a borderline. You should stop being such an attention seeker. You should stop dodging the issue. You should address your issues. You should let me speak. You should give me a chance to make things right again. You should come back because you owe me. You should let me show what I can do. You should understand. Because sometimes I don't know what comes over me. You should make allowances for my behaviour because you were worse. You should not focus on the handful of supposedly bad things I do when I do way more good things. You should listen to why I do those things because if you did, you would realise that there is always a very good reason behind it. You should understand I have to despair once in a while because your behaviour becomes too much. You should understand I am not sulking. I'm just being quiet. You should accept I have to tell people about the way that you behave, because otherwise I would go mental. 
you should think about the names I call you and realize I am actually trying to help you because otherwise you will not listen. You should stop trying to blame me for everything that goes wrong and instead be grateful for what I do for you. You should give it a rest now because you are giving me a headache. You should go and let me rest because I have been working hard all day. You should rub my back. You should make me something to eat. You should be there when I come home. You should stay out of my way when I am fed up with you. You should ask me how I am and not keep telling me about what you want. You should stop telling me how I should behave. You should see what I have to deal with. You should try being me. You should understand how much pain I am from my back and not complain about your own supposed ailments. You should show some consideration for me now and again. You should get off your high horse. You should give it a rest. You should try walking in my shoes. You should try being me for a day. You should look at it from my point of view. You should make allowances. You should be more tolerant. You should do it because you want to. You should do it for us. You should have more faith. You should have more discipline. You should have more resolve. You should let me in. You should keep out. You should learn when to speak. You should learn to, when to stay quiet. You should be seen and not heard. You should follow me. You should watch what I do. You should learn from an expert. You should stick with me. You should be mine. You should stay away from him. You should not speak to them. You should know what is best for you. You should know home is where the heart is. You should know where your bread is buttered. You should know how lucky you are to have me. You should come back. You should, because I say so. You just should. There are a range of many phrases that is used by a variety of mid-range narcissists for the purposes of telling you what you should be doing. And the mid-range narcissist will use you should. Note that that's passive aggressive. It's not you had better do this or you will do this, but it's rather you should be doing this. You should already know that you should be doing these things for me. And therefore, that demonstrates the inherent passive aggressiveness that runs through all mid-range narcissists. Now, I'll go back through the groupings and elaborate more on what is occurring. And in particular, which subschools of mid-range narcissists will be using these sets? You should have not done that to me. You should be thankful for who I am. You should be giving thanks to whichever god you follow that you have someone like me in your life. Grandiosity comparison to a god someone who cares someone who's considerate someone who only wants the best for you veneer of respectability you should be ashamed of the way you have treated me guilt provocation you should apologize at this instant you should say sorry to me for the way you have behaved you should treat others the way you want to be treated and not go around behaving like you are something special belittlement you should realize i am something special and you keep treating me terribly grandiosity pity play you should understand that I am a good, honest and decent person and not everyone would put up with your hysterical outbursts. Veneer of respectability. You should know how hard it is to love somebody like you. Pity play, martyrdom, but I do. You should be grateful for that. These comments would be typically used by the middle-middle range type A. You should know who you're messing with. You should be wary of getting on the wrong side of me. Threat. You should make sure you keep me happy because you will not like me when I am not happy. Threat. You should be looking out for me and not gadding around at other people. Triangulation. You should learn what your priorities are. You should spend more time with me. You should know when to leave me alone. You should be here and doing what I want. Sense of entitlement. You should try giving for once rather than doing all of this taking. Provocation. These are fairly simplistic allegations that have been made as against the victim, and these are the type of comics that would be typical of a lower mid-range narcissist. You should be more aware of the way that you treat people, and especially me. Pity play, triangulation. You should think more about how your actions impact on me. Pity play. You should take my feelings into account and stop being so selfish. Pity play. You should realise just what you do hurts me. Pity play. You should understand that the things you say and do to me have consequences. Threat. You should stop making it all about you and let me have a say from time to time. Pity play. Sense of entitlement. You should stop being so obsessed with your friends' lives and think about our lives together. Criticism. Triangulation. You should spend less time with your family. They do not appreciate you in the way that I do. Triangulation. Smearing. These are comments that would be typically stated by a middle-middle range type B narcissist. You should stop telling lies about me. 
projection. You should get your own house in order before you start telling me how I should leave my life. Haughtiness. You shouldn't leave in a glass house, you know, and throw stones. Hypocrisy. You should stop being a nasty person to someone who's only ever been good to you. Veneer of respectability. You should stop smearing my name to other people. Projection. You should take a look in the mirror. Insult. You should take a good look in the mirror, actually. Insult. Likely to be stated by upper mid-range. You should stop putting me down. Insult. You should do what I want for a change. Sense of entitlement. You should come back and apologise. Sense of entitlement. I am a reasonable person and you should recognise that. Veneer of respectability. You should make things right again because after all, this is your fault. Blame shifting. Projection. You should stop fighting with me. I do not know why you have to do this. Blame shifting. You should stop trying to tie me in knots. Pity play. You should be more considerate. You should think about me more. Sense of entitlement. You should realise just how much I have tried for you and me. Pity play. You should sort this mess out because you are the only one that has caused it. Likely to be said by middle mid-range type B. You should see how hard I've been trying for us. You should recognise a good person when you see one. Veneer of respectability. You should know I've made the changes you demanded. Promise changed. But you should be making some of your own as well. You should realise just how much I've tried for you and me. Typically said by middle middle range type A. You should know what other people say about you. Triangulation. You should realise that I put up with people saying bad things about you. Pity play. And you should be grateful I defend you to them. Veneer of respectability. But I won't keep doing it forever. Threat and loss. You should realise you're not as popular as you think you are. Insult. You should be aware that I am a popular person. Delusion. And you won't come out of this looking good at all. Threat. Most likely to be said. Lower mid-range. You shouldn't treat me like this. Pity play. You shouldn't destroy what I have built. Grandiosity. You should recognise a good person, an honest person, a truthful person like me. Veneer of respectability. You should learn just what you have lost by behaving like this. Threat and loss. You should see just how many people hold me in high regard. Grandiosity. You should be so happy to have someone like me, someone who people think well of and they do. Just ask anybody and they will tell you. Facade management. You should take the time to realise that I am a good person and consider what you are doing to me, to us, to what we have. Belittlement. Insult. Most likely to be said by middle middle range type A. You should stop hurting me. Pity play. You should stop getting a kick out of this horrible treatment of me. Pity play. You should stop being mean to someone who loves you. Pity playing. You should help me. Playing the victim. You should love me more. Sense of entitlement. You should show me that you mean it. Belittlement. You should stop with the pretense. Projection. You should be genuine like me. Projection. You should stop playing the games. Projection. You should be the person that would make your grandmother proud. Triangulation. You should be the best person you can be for me. Sense of entitlement. Most likely to be said by middle middle range type B. You should get some help. Insult. You should see someone. Insult. You should go to therapy. Insult. You should sort these problems out. You should, st you should stop blaming me. Projection. You should stop projecting your problems and insecurities onto me. Projection. You should stop the game playing. Projection. I am cleverer than you, so I see straight through it. Grandiosity. You should tell the truth for once. Projection. You should stop making up stories about me. Projection. You should reflect on what you do. You should get some insight in what you are actually doing. Projection. You should shut up and listen to me for once. Threat. Haughtiness. You should go and see the doctor. You should take your medication. Insult. You should stop being such a borderline. Insult. You should stop being such an attention seeker. Insult. You should stop dodging the issue. You should address your ins you should address your issues. Insult. Most likely stated by upper mid range. You should let me speak. Sense of entitlement. You should give me a chance to make things right again. Promise change. You should come back because you owe me. You should let me show you what I can do. Promise change. You should understand sometimes I don't know what comes over me. Blame shifting. You should make allowances for my behaviour because you are worse. Projection. You should not focus on the handful of supposedly bad things I do when I do way more good things. Delusion. Veneer of respectability. You should listen to why I do these things because if you did you would realise there's always a very good reason behind it. Blame shifting. You should understand that I have to disappear once in a while because your behaviour becomes too much. Blame shifting. You should understand I am not sulking. I am just being quiet. 
delusion. You should accept, I have to tell people about the way that you behave, triangulation, because otherwise I would go mental, pity play. You should think about the names I call you, insult, and realize I'm actually trying to help you, delusion and hypocrisy, because otherwise you will not listen. You should stop trying to blame me for everything that goes wrong and instead be grateful for what I do for you. Most likely to be stated by lower mid-range. You should give it a rest now because you are giving me a headache. Pity play. You should go and let me rest because I've been working hard all day. Pity play. You should remove my back. Pity play. You should make me something to eat. Sense of entitlement. You should be there when I come home. Sense of entitlement. You should stay out of the way when I'm fed up of you. Sense of entitlement. Insult. You should ask me how I am and not keep telling me about what you want. Lack of accountability. You should stop telling me how I should behave. Lack of accountability. You should see what I have to deal with. Pity play. You should try being me. Pity play. You should understand how much pain I am. I am in from my back and not complain about your own supposed ailments. Belittlement. Lack of accountability. Pity play. You should show some consideration for me now and again. Pity play. You should get off your high horse. Insult. You should give it a rest. Insult. You should try walking in my shoes. Pity play. You should try being me for one day. Pity play. You should look at it from my point of view. Entitlement. You should make allowances. Entitlement. You should be more tolerant. Lack of accountability. Most likely to be stated by middle, middle range type B. You should do it because you want to. You should do it for us. Sense of entitlement. You should have more faith. Insult. You should have more discipline. Insult. You should have more resolve. Insult. You should let me in. Projection. You should keep out. You should learn when to speak. Haughtiness. You should learn when to stay quiet. Haughtiness. You should be seen and not heard. Haughtiness. You should follow me. Grandiosity. You should watch what I do. Grandiosity. You should learn from an expert. Grandiosity. You should stick with me. Grandiosity. You should be mine. Possession. You should stay away from him. Sense of entitlement and triangulation. You should not speak to them. Sense of entitlement and triangulation. You should know what is best for you. You should know home is where the heart is. Grandiosity. You should know where your bread is buttered. Grandiosity. You should know how lucky you are to have me. Grandiosity. Most likely to be said by the upper mid-range. So there you have it. A comprehensive breakdown of how guilt and obligation are used by all mid-range narcissists towards you manifesting in the use of you should and how those various manipulations described of triangulation the sense of entitlement the lack of accountability etc all work towards the creation of a sense of guilt and obligation in you in order to cater to the prime aims primarily asserting control over you and getting fuel from you alongside character traits and residual benefits i am hg tudor thank you for listening